Hey everybody, I'm Chef Chris Hancock. I'm over here at the Art Institute of San Antonio, and today I thought I'd like to break down a fish for you. So what we have here is a nice snapper, and what we're gonna do is break down this round fish for you uh, into some fillets. Uh, a couple things you gotta watch out for the round fish. We know it's round, because it swims upright like this. The bodies are going to be more round as opposed to a flat fish. So what that means is we're gonna get two main fillets out of here as opposed to four in the flat. That can be another time in video. A um, Couple things we wanna look on here is we will need to take off the, uh, the fins um, and the tail. We wanna cut around the head. Uh, this one has been drawn, which means the innards have been taken out. Um, and so we're gonna go ahead and start with cutting the first of the fillet off. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is cut along the back of the gill here, make a nice first cut, as long as going around this fin right here, get it separated. There is a bone right in the jaw right here, and if you try and cut through that, it won't work so well. So try and get right back in the back of the head, scales in there. It's all right. It's where your nice sharp knife comes in handy. Okay. I'm going to go right around here, back, and to here. I, would, I do want to go all the way down through and through the belly cavity. Okay. So next what I want to do here is go right around the spine, the back, make a guide guide mark so I can go ahead and start flaying this fish off of the bones. And it doesn't have to be real deep right now, it's just a guide. I'm gonna take some, got some scales, we'll take that off. But this is how, where we're gonna be our guide mark, all the way to the tail. And then we can go ahead and go all the way up. Okay, now we got the guide. Want to try and lift up the meat a little bit as we find the bones, and we're going to use them as guides um, as we get separate the meat from the carcass. A little bit. This is where having that nice sharp tip is going to help immensely. Small cuts. Bone. And then as we go in, we can go a little bit further. And I should cut like butter. And you're gonna notice a spine that's right, right inside. And we're gonna go basically think of a speed bump. It's right about here. We're gonna go here, we're gonna go up on over just a little bit. Before I can do that, I need to make sure this is all separated. There we go. Okay, and as I get down to the tail, we'll go ahead and punch all the way through and come up. And that can help me get over that speed bump as well as helping with the other side of that fillet. And this is where a nice flexible knife comes in handy. If I had a regular boning knife or a chef knife, it's gonna be very stiff and it's not gonna bend to help get around those bones quite as easy. So having the right tool for the right time can help you immensely. Guess I missed the bone right there, that's okay. We're just going to try and cut around that. And as we get to where the belly is, there's some ribs in there, rib cages. Uh, you are going to want to cut through those. Um, you can do, you can try and cut through them or you can cut over them and you do lose some meat, but you don't have to go and pull them out later. Okay, and as you're finishing up here, 
go ahead and and here we go. Fillet. Okay. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Here. Now this one I had already started a little bit. I cut back here again, and I've already got my guide mark. Okay, a little bit over here. Now the second side is gonna be a little bit more difficult because your fish is sunk in. It's not up with the other piece of meat in there. So your your levels are gonna be a little bit a little bit harder, but if you know what you're feeling for, using the knife and the bones as your guide, you'll be just fine. bones right there again. I'm going to turn this around here. And feel free to move this fish any way you need to so you feel comfortable and you're safe. I'm going to go and pierce through this side. I got some fin on that one. If that happens, that's okay. I can cut that out later. Okay, see that spine right there? I'm gonna go up and over just like a car going over speed bump. Get that tip in there. And it really, my sharp knife will do the rest. Now over here, the ribs are starting to go up, so we have to remember that as we are cutting as well. And sometimes the, fight, the fish, the fight is never done with the fish. Sometimes you're catching on the reel and it's fighting real good, and sometimes it's still fighting on the cutting board. That's okay. I am persistent, I will prevail. All right, now we have filet number two with a little bit of And then you have the carcass here. You can see where the spine right here. Here, so what we did, we went in and then up and then over and cleaned it off. Pretty good right there. You might see that you have a little bit of meat on there. That's okay. You can choose to use, make the stock with this. That'll help make it real good. Um, or you can even try and get little bits out and make a little bit of a brown, brown fish for a burger maybe. Who knows? All right, that's the other side. That was our first side. You'll probably find that one side is easier and better for you than the other. That's completely, perfectly normal. Okay, and then this guy, you can go ahead and make stock or he goes in the trash. You're done with him. So chef, what are you about to do now? So what we're gonna do here is talk about what we can do with the fish. Um, I'm gonna add the two fillets. I'm gonna go ahead and take the skin off of one and show you how to do that real fast. It's a very easy process. Um, but I'm also gonna show you how to cut a piece of the fillet off of there with the skin on and how to prepare that so you can make it cook it with the skin on. A lot of people like to have that nice crispy skin that makes a good presentation on there as well, okay? So uh, on here, um, Again, this is where your flexible knife is really going to come in handy. Um, my knife is very, very flexible, and that's going to help um, a contour to the fish's body as opposed to a, a rigid uh, boning knife or a chef knife. It's not you're going to end up with more meat on the skin than you than you'd like. Okay. So what we have here is the rib bones here. Check your rib bones. If you have a little bit. I cut a little bit more of the belly off on this one. I have a couple bones here. 
we can go ahead and cut those out. If you have some pliers, you can go ahead and, and try and pull them out with some pliers as well. Um, if you don't, that's okay. That's why a lot of times, sometimes you get a fillet and it'll look like a, a V because they have cut the part of the bones right out towards the belly. Right there. We don't want to eat bones. That's why sometimes you'll see that iconic fish fillet light looking like that. Wondering what part of the fish actually looks like that. An oven mitt. There, there you go, you found out. Okay, so now for filleting this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, get my cutting board to the edge. I'm gonna start here. I'm going to go a little bit to get down to the skin and then turn it, okay? So a couple ways you can do it. I like to do a hybrid. You can either keep your knife the constant, not move it, and you can pull the skin. You can leave the skin and pull the knife I do like a little bit of both, but what you want to do is try and make sure it is all the way down to the skin. A little trick I found too is if you need a little grip, you can take a knife and punch a little hole in here, and you can fit a finger in there, so now it won't slip out of your hand. Okay, what we want here, that's really good, here, you want to try and keep your knife as flat as possible. got that nice look at that minimal meat on there that's okay that's where having a longer fillet knife is going to come in handy mine's just almost a little too short but it does a decent enough job okay so what are we going to do with this well i like my fish nice and normal i like salt pepper and sear it give a nice good golden brown to it give me a little bit of lemon juice on it and eat it that's how i love to eat most of my fish you can also go ahead and you could beer batter this or tempura batter it. Just get a little bit of dorsal fin out there. Um, and deep fry, that's always, that's good as well. Uh, if you wanted to grill it, a uh, snapper is a, it, it should hold up a little bit firm, nice on the, on the grill. Just make sure you don't turn it too many times so it doesn't fall apart. Um, on here, but you could definitely do a lemon pepper, you could do a Cajun, you could blacken it. Uh, put a little bit of a, a nice Oscar sauce on there if you are feeling very rich and expensive, rich in taste as well as your, your, your pocket with the crab meat and your um, hollandaise sauce on there. So, uh, but that's what I really like to do. I like just plain fish. Now, if you don't want to, if you want to leave that on there, that's okay. Um, what I like to do is try and square this up. Now this, again, I've got some ribs in here. I'm just gonna cut those out. I don't wanna mess with it. If you hear that, that's the, the going through a little bit of bone, but mostly the skin. Okay. And because I have this awkward shape here, I'm not even gonna worry about that for this piece here. So I'll probably go a nice little, square this up a little bit. Because it's all about presentation. Remember, we eat with our eyes first. And then I'll get a nice section here, right there. So we have this nice little fillet here. And if you ever try and cook this with skin on, know the skin will try and curl because it's just like bacon going in a saute pan. So the trick is to go ahead and score it. Score it. That way, you do want to get some of these. Um, scales off as well. You can use your knife, you can buy a fancy descaler tool. Okay, let's get most of those off. Then you do, again, you want to score it so it goes through the skin. And you might have to go a couple times. You may think your knife is sharp, but you really, Cutting a, through a skin is always a good test to seeing how sharp it is. Hopefully it's not your own skin. And there you go, there you have it. That will go ahead and lay it a lot flatter in your saute pan. 
All right, well, hopefully you had fun watching a flaying a fish with Chef Hancock. Um, I know we all, we miss you all here, and uh, we hope to see you as soon as we possible. Stay safe and healthy. Bye.